What's up? Top 8 Left 4 Dead Survivors. Hasn't been done before. And I, didn't, I am super excited to do this one. I looked it up and I was like, I wonder who would pick this, but no one has done it. So I am excited and I'm going to be the first to do this. Without further ado, let's get started. With number 8. Number 8 is probably the least drawn out by Val. She she wasn't done very well, and I just said she that gave it away. Rochelle was not very well done. Number eight goes to Rochelle. She wasn't she wasn't done correctly. Like she is widely hated, I can tell. In many parodies and videos made, they just pick on her. And I can agree. I don't like her. I I really don't think that she is required except to keep the title of the game the same. I really don't think that she was necessary. Well, she was necessary to make the game, but her personality could have done a lot better. Number seven. I'm not trying to sound sexist here, but the two female characters didn't really work it for me. Number seven is Zoe from Left 4 Dead 1. Zoe is like a caretaker of the group, even though she looks like a kid. I think she is a kid, probably in her late, I don't know, late teens, early 20s or something. And she's kind of like the caretaker of the three guys throughout the game. But that's all she is. She just kind of cares, especially for Francis. But that's pretty much all she does for the group. I feel like she she also could have done a lot better, like had a few more jokes like Francis and Bill did, or have a special character trait like Lewis. But um she just wasn't thought out very well. I don't I think in the Left 4 Dead 3, if it is ever announced or released, they should really work on the female character, maybe even make her like one of the main characters. Cause you can tell Francis was trying to be the main character in Left 4 Dead 1, but we'll get to that one later. Number six. I'm going to get so much hate mail for this. I'm not even joking. Please don't say anything. Dicky. I guess that could be the word. Number six is Ellis from Left 4 Dead 2. For one reason. That he is hilarious. But for one reason. He's a liar. You want to know how I know? You want proof? I'll give you proof. This is what killed it for me. He tells a whole bunch of stories about a friend named Keith during the safe room picking up weapons and first aid. But there's one story in particular in the campaign Hard Rain that really messes up everything that Ellis said. He says that he and his friend Keith fought down a zombie-infested, burning motel. That was five stories. Where have we seen that before? The first freaking level. That means that every other story he has told, the story about Keith falling out of a roller coaster, the story about Keith getting stuck on a Ferris wheel, the story about Keith being tear gassed on top of a building, all of those are lies and they never happened. That's what really hurt him for me. Number five is definitely the most one of the most well-known characters, but not for the game. For what the fans made of him. Number five is Lewis. Lewis in the game wasn't really the best. He um didn't talk much. He was just kind of there. But he did announce where most of the supplies was. And that's where his fan base came from. Whenever like he's like first aid, pipe bomb, pals. He freaks out when he sees pills. Or at least that's what the fans caught. So now he is known around the world as Left 4 Dead's addict on pain pills. They have made parodies all about Lewis and how he gets pills from the other survivors. I mean, like, that's hilarious. I, 
I love him myself. And I seriously think that he is a very well done character by the fans. Probably my favorite black man. Oh, wait. Number four. Number four, I gotta give it to Coach. I know you're probably expecting him to be on number one, but we'll get to him later. Number four's Coach. You really wouldn't expect a teacher, but this dude isn't your normal, ordinary teacher. He is teaching badassness. That's it. He's a coach for football. You would expect him to be punching them in the face. He kind of does, using bullets, but the dude is a very funny character. And he, seeing as he's probably the oldest of the group, he makes many references to his childhood. And some of them can play out really well to the situation and make you just laugh because of how stupid and correct that they are. Coach, he's funny, and it, he really deserves higher if the other three weren't so freaking awesome. Number three is Francis from Left 4 Dead 1. I didn't even draw that one out. I'm getting kind of tired. It's late at night. But number three is Francis. He is also, like Lewis, um, widely loved by fans. And he has also made a character base. He hates everything throughout the game. He hates hospitals. He hates cops. He hates lawyers, doctors, the woods, sleeping, trailers, swamps, pretty much everything, except for his vest. He loves his vest. And that is made very clear in the passing trailer where he, Rochelle starts listing everything that she hates, but then she accidentally says that he hate that she hates Francis, Francis's jacket, vest, that sucked, and um I'm pretty sure that's the main reason why the bridge didn't go down during the thing, not just because the um generator was out of gas, no, it probably wasn't even out of gas, it's because Rochelle was so stupid, and she was a jerk to Francis, and when you're a jerk to Francis, the bridge doesn't go down when you want it to, it goes down. Francis wants it to. You think about that for a while. Number two. And I'm going to put number two and one both together. Because you know who they are. Number... they The two of them are Nick from Left 4 Dead 2 and Bill from Left 4 Dead 1. Bill from Left 4 Dead 1. He is... Probably the most loved old guy in games, mainly because there's not many, but he is very, like, a war veteran. He's um, kind of like the hero. He even sacrifices his own life to save his friends. That's very noble. But then you got Nick. He's hilarious. He's a gambler. He only really thinks about himself, but when he's needed, his friends really rely on him. This is a very tough call, because both of these guys were the characters that I played as all the time when I play the games. But I have to give number two to Bill from Left 4 Dead 1 and number one to Nick from Left 4 Dead 2. Because of one line that Nick said that put him above Bill. Nick and the group make their way to the mall and the first thing that Nick says when they get to the mall I need you to find a men's store. I got blood on my suit. That says two things. He's a cocky bastard. And he's also a cold-blooded killer. He got blood all over his suit from killing these zombies. And he only just wants a new one. But he doesn't get a new one because the zombies are all over the place. Making him want to kill more. Do it for the suit, my friend. Do it for the suit. Bill, great guy. Sacrificed himself. That's amazing. But that means he'll never appear again. Nick, for all you know, he could even be in Left 4 Dead 3 if it's ever released. I'm Penguins Exploding. I hope you enjoyed Top 8 Left 4 Dead Survivors. I do not own any of the music that I play in my videos. Please support the official release.
Expect more top tens. The next top ten will be top ten online gamers. This includes leftover let's players and reviewers. I'll see you then. Game on.